The Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit, or APEC, gets underway in San Francisco in a little more than a week. ATVU's Christian Captain joins us live tonight from the city with the latest on plans and security preparations. Massive undertaking here, Christian. Yeah, you got it, Mike. The city is preparing for the massive uh, uh, summit that is set to get started in just a little over a week, and the people and protests it's expected to bring. The city of San Francisco is preparing for the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit. The event is expected to bring more than 20,000 visitors to the city. Mayor London Breed saying she's proud that President Joe Biden chose San Francisco to host. When it comes to big events, we do a good job. China's leader, Xi Jinping, confirming just this week that he will be meeting with the president at APEC. The event is expected to draw political leaders from 21 countries. San Francisco leaders have said the summit will bring more than $50 million to the city, but it's also expected to bring protests, some objecting to the summit itself, others hoping their protests will be seen by world leaders. Mayor Breed says the city is familiar with protests and stands ready to host the event, keep it safe, and allow for the freedom of expression. We plan to do everything we can to allow people to protest peacefully, to make sure that the delegates have a great experience and that people are safe. Security is expected to be tight, with some areas around the Moscone Center, Embarcadero, and Knob Hill under restricted access. San Francisco police are working with federal officials to keep the event secure for world leaders and prepare for the possibility of protests. Everything from crowd management to you know, working with our, our, our federal partners, which is led by the Secret Service on this national special security event. So I feel really good about where we are. Japan's consul general in San Francisco saying the summit is important to strengthen the economic ties between his country and the U.S., particularly with California. We have lots of things in the world which leaders have to discuss. So it's going to be a very good opportunity and Japan can play a very good role here. Now, APEC is set to get underway on November 11th with the bulk of the visitors, including the president, expected between the 14th and the 17th. We're live in San Francisco. Christian Kafton, KTVU, Fox 2 News. So it's not SFPD, Christian. It's, it's the Secret Service that has the lead, at least when it comes to security. Yeah, that's right. Secret Service, uh, Department of Homeland Security, the uh, uh, feds, so to speak, are all over this one. Uh, we're getting deferred to uh, a, a now a new uh, joint information command center to make sure that there's a streamlined release of information. Uh, so all the law enforcement agencies around, uh, all of the uh, agencies, the city agencies, all working together to get on the same page. Uh, from what I understand, again, Secret Service has the lead on that. Yeah, all hands on deck. Uh, we're going to lock down that area the next week or two. All right, Christian, thank you for that. San Francisco